Welcome back. Taking a look at some business news now. And South Africa needs more players in the telecommunications market for effective competition. That's the view of the Minister of Telecommunications and Postal Services, Dr. Sia Bongatwele. He was speaking on the sidelines of the National Internet Governance Forum and the launch of the SADC Internet Exchange Point in Johannesburg. The National Development Plan identifies the cost of communication as hindering socio-economic development. Government says it is considering several measures to remedy this, among them effective competition in the telecommunications sector, which is currently dominated by only a handful of players. More players to come in in this market because if there are more players, they'll compete to give us better services. That's why we were, we're working with the, the regulator ICASA in this respect, where he was cooperating with us. Firstly, the first problem we push is that there should be transparency in pricing. You must know exactly what is it that you are paying for because some of these things you'll be paying for the adverts, really. Minister Twele says Cabinet is considering a policy that will help telecommunications companies to maintain the balance between what they charge consumers and the investment that they make into their network infrastructure. The operators particularly were helping them. There is a proposed new policy which we hope will be finalizing probably soon in Cabinet, which talk about rapid deployment which will cut a lot of costs in investment of the infrastructure for our own telcos so that they can also cut the cost to us. We hope that they should pass on whatever we bring to them uh, to the consumers because it, it's at the end of it all, it is the consumer must benefit. Access to a fast and affordable internet is becoming essential as Africa migrates to a digital economy. The newly launched SADC Internet Exchange Point will help reduce internet costs. This is because internet traffic will now circulate within the region instead of going via the US or Europe. This is the idea. It saves money, it saves uh, time, and even gives us the opportunity to have our local content, which is the most important issue. If there wasn't an internet exchange point, then the mechanism for moving data between two networks would rely largely on us using undersea fiber cables, right? Or, or even worse, satellite. So data to go from one service provider to another would go from ISP1 out of what we call their transit internet service provider, which is usually one of the big European or American service providers. So your, your data would move into Europe, okay? And then from Europe, come all the way back into South Africa. And, and that, that, doesn't, that doesn't help us build a service that is either quick or cheap to use. According to Upstream's 2016 Developing Marketers Mobile Commerce Report, released this week, 55% of South Africans see Internet access as a basic human right. The report further says this poses a significant opportunity for digital service providers. This is because 88% of consumers claim they make daily use of mobile phones for accessing digital services, going up to 95% on a monthly basis. Diabo Seto, SAPC News, Johannesburg.